to a new vlog. I hope you are all doing well. It is a Friday today. It's a rainy, blustery, cold day today. And do you know what? I'm actually not too mad about it. I am going to have a really nice cozy day at home today. I want to do a little bit of cleaning, a little bit of sorting out, just kind of like make the house feel all nice. Um, probably hoover and clean the floors and all that stuff. And then I have got quite a bit of laptop stuff to do. Newsletter writing. I've just been um, planning out the newsletter this morning. And um, just a few bits and bobs really. So that is my plan for the day. I just did a reformer class, as you would have seen, which was so tough. I think that's the hardest one I've done. It was an intermediate level and wow, my arms are going to be sore tomorrow. I haven't actually done any of those moves before. Um, so it was all pretty new to me and it was really, really tricky. Um, yeah, it was all kind of like glutes and arm based, which was really nice because I don't necessarily work my arms that much. Um, and I really enjoyed it. So that was brilliant. This week has been quite a lot to be honest um it's just been a little bit overwhelming and i think it's just my approach and how i deal with things personally obviously i'm at home a lot and i haven't really left the house much in the last two weeks which that in itself can be a little bit uh what's the word it can just feel a little bit low i think it can make your mood feel quite low when you're at home too much i think it there's a really fine line and you have to have a good balance between being at home and loving your own company in your own time but also getting out and doing things and because i haven't been able to do that the last couple of weeks that has pretty much had a bit of an effect on me i guess um not so much with like the sleeping and all of that stuff because he's absolutely amazing with sleeping through the night and we are slowly getting him used to being on his own a lot more. Um, he's getting a lot better at exploring the garden on his own. He doesn't need to be by our side all the time. Definitely seeing so many improvements and I'm really, really impressed. I can't believe how quick he is learning things and just kind of how easily he's slotting into life. But it obviously comes with its challenges and I think one thing that is maybe not discussed that much is a puppy is tough. It's not easy. You can think you are super, super prepared and you can think you are in the perfect position, mindset, whatever. And as soon as you get that puppy and you bring them home, it's not gonna be what you thought and it's going to be tricky. I was very prepared to know that it was going to be tricky. I was very much prepared that I was going to have to be at home for a long time. Um, he's not able to go out because he hasn't got the right injections yet. And I have actually chatted to you a lot on Instagram, a few of you um, who have been amazing by the way. I just wanna say a huge thank you for all of your lovely comments, DMs, messages. I've even had some emails. I It's just been so nice and the conversations I've had have been realistic, but Oh, they're just they've just been lovely not kind of patronizing unsolicited advice they've just been really wholesome and really helpful and i think sometimes when you're feeling a bit overwhelmed you don't necessarily want i don't necessarily want to talk about that all the time i don't want to be negative i know that you guys come to my platforms and you come to my videos to have a little bit of an escape to have 40 minutes or however long this video is of your day, of your week even, just switching off and kind of like being in somebody else's world. Exactly like TV, a series, a movie, it's exactly the same thing. And I do that. I watch YouTube videos and I do the exact same thing. And I treat them as that exact thing. A little bit of time just to escape, time on your own. It's lovely and it's actually one of my favourite things to do. I really, really enjoy it. So I don't want to give you all this negative thoughts and all these negative things all the time. I want to keep it a really nice upbeat place. But as I always say, I like to keep things real and honest. And I like to give you real depictions of my life and tell you what's happening and be really truthful because what's the point in vlogging my life and 
not telling you things that are happening that I can share with you because obviously there'll be things that I can't share with you that can't really go on the internet but yeah it's just been a little bit overwhelming I think last week I was absolutely fine it was the first week that we brought him home the weather was amazing it was lovely and this is the second week now and the weather hasn't been as great which has been a little bit tough just can't go outside as much and when he gets the zoomies he goes wild and I've actually experienced for the first time this week the kind of like I think they call it the witching hour and oh, wow it is intense like the biting is savage <laughs> um and it just gets a bit frustrating especially when i think when dogs get into that phase and they're really really hyper and they've got this massive burst of energy they don't listen to you as much as puppies they're not they haven't learned things yet they don't know so yeah it can be a bit tough but if anybody out there has got a puppy recently or you're thinking of getting a puppy don't stress i feel like you just have to go with the flow you just almost have to let go of all your old ways of doing things i know i say it a lot but i am a little bit controlling and i like to know what's happening i like routines i don't love it when things don't go to plan um but pretty much all of that goes out the window a little bit and you just have to ease into it and take things at your own pace and just remember that when you look up things online you are going to see a thousand different opinions and you just have to do what's right for you what's right for one person is not going to be right for the other so yes that's my little slice of puppy advice but he is so amazing he's currently sleeping in his crate and he's been a joy this morning but he is still not loving being on his own i got up this morning and took him out and then put him in his crate to go to sleep and as soon as I walked out the door and shut the door in the kitchen he saw me and then cried but I'm trying to get into a good good habit of just leaving him because he does settle it doesn't take him long he cries for a bit and then he goes silent and he does settle so I went and did my reformer and I think sometimes I think you do have to make sure that you're still doing the things for yourself otherwise you can just get so lost in all of this stuff that's going on and i do think it's important even if it's just one thing for the day so i did my reformer it was about 25 minutes wasn't long at all and he was silent and then as soon as i opened the door in the office he heard me and then he came to the door and cried so he did settle himself down and actually it was a really nice reminder for me because i was looking up actually if i can leave a puppy at home on their own and I don't really want to because I don't think it's very fair but I, I yet anyway but um yeah a lot of people were saying once they get to two months you can leave them for like a short amount of time so just literally just to go to our local shop and back just to pick up something that I need that I forgot to get on the food shop or just those little things if I need to pop to the post office or I don't know just any little thing out for a quick walk I haven't been for a walk for like weeks um and even if it's just half an hour it's no different to me leaving him for half an hour in the kitchen while i do a reformer class so i feel a lot better about that this morning and i think potentially next week i'm going to put that into practice a little bit or maybe at the weekend with jack and um yeah just start introducing new things slowly and ease him into little things which i think is the way to do it really but he is amazing and I'm so glad you guys love him as much as we do. Last night he was the cutest ever. We were laying on the sofa watching um, MasterChef because we haven't caught up on the latest series. And he fell asleep, snuggled into me. He had his neck, he had his head in my neck and I was just looking at him thinking, oh my gosh, all the times that I have got so stressed out with you this week and I have literally felt like crying, although I haven't cried, is just all worth it for this and i just keep reminding myself that the puppy stage is not going to last for long he's going to grow out of the biting he's going to get used to being on his own all of these things are going to be solved and like we haven't even started the puppy training yet we've got so many things to come so yeah just if you've got a puppy out there just know that it does get better hang in there i've spoken to so many people that say 
I know exactly how you feel. We've got a four month, five month old puppy and it's amazing now and like he's grown out of all of those things. So yes, silver linings. <laughs> But I am just going to wait till he falls asleep properly so I can leave and um, I'm just going to wait till he falls asleep and then I need to get in the shower, get myself ready for the day. I, as I said, I'm just having quite a cosy day at home today. I haven't done any filming for a good two weeks now, which is really eating me away and I feel so guilty for it. But it's just, I just haven't really been in the right mind space. So I think next week is going to be the week for filming. And I actually have quite a few campaigns coming up that I need to get filming for. So I need to get back into the routine of that. But yeah, cosy day at home. I'm going to do a bit of baking later and make some bits for the weekend. And then, oh, I also have a movie that I want to watch tonight. Friday, Jack's at the pub tonight. So I am going to get cosy on the sofa and watch a movie, which I cannot wait to watch because I've read so many good things about. So anyway enough rambling 10 minutes of rambling i i'm gonna get back to my newsletter Good morning everyone from the herb table. I am just having a bit of a tidy up this morning, potting up some herbs that I've needed to pot up for ages. And Basil keeps digging in the flower beds and bringing all of this compost in. So we're having a bit of a tidy up here today. I just wanted to neaten it all up, um, give it a spruce up. I just kept kind of dumping things on here and it was getting a bit messy. So I've just potted up some parsley and my thyme, which is looking a little bit sad, but I'm hoping it will come back to life. I've just given it a good water, put in some fresh compost. Parsley is looking amazing. And then we've still got the chives and the mint is thriving over here. Um, and also this oregano, which I actually cut a stem of some old oregano last year and I grew the roots on it in a glass of water in the kitchen. And then I potted it up and I wasn't really hoping for big things, but look at it. I'm so, so pleased. So. Yeah, this is doing really well. And that is pretty much it. I've also got some more oregano on the table out there and um, rosemary trees and things dotted about the garden. So I just wanted to have a bit of a spruce up here this morning. I've got my co-worker down here sitting very nicely on his rug. He is being so well behaved. Honestly, really, really, really impressed with him today. He has been so good this morning. Um, we brought him up to our bed for a little bit of a snuggle and a lion this morning. And then we came downstairs at about half eight, nine o'clock, and he's had his breakfast, and he's been playing in the garden, and he's just loving life. I think he's currently looking at my shadows because he seems to be looking at the floor where my <laughs> shadows are. But you're being a very good boy, aren't you? Yes, you are. Very good boy. Look, I just planted these in here. Oh, yeah, that's good. Parsley's looking really good. Yeah, where's the trunk? Also, look, that's that oregano that I grew the roots on. Is it? And potted last year. Yeah. That's good. It's come, in, it's come out now. Chives are good. Baz was being a good boy. He really what are you going to grow in here? I'm not sure. I would like to get some flowers, really. I'd like to go to the garden centre. Where's Larry? Larry's just on the table out there. It's really hot down there. Yeah, it's hot. <laughs> oh god. I just found a new thing to be obsessed with. The broom. Oh. Alright! I don't know whether to bring that bit up under the tree. Um. <coughs> Sounds a bit messy. Here you go. <laughs> 
funny. Jack got me this truck for Christmas, I think. And it's from Dalesford and I absolutely love it. Whenever I cut like loads of herbs off if I'm cooking or, <laughs> or um, if I'm cutting flowers off, I always use this. It's so lovely. And it's been outside for quite a while and it's done really well. Jack's pulling faces in the window. <laughs> Where's Basil? Basil, come. Where have you been, monkey? Yes, so anyway, I just thought I'd recommend this. I'm gonna link it below. afternoon everyone I look hilarious because my ears poking out of my hat but my hair was getting on my nerves so I put a hat on because I washed my hair this morning um oh my gosh Basil has just learned to jump up onto the sofa and he is fully in Sunday mode right now <laughs> so comfortable he's just had his lunch and now he's having a little snooze and a sunbathe literally living the dream while Jack and I are super busy I have just been sorting out all the little um, edging, sorting out all of the edging around the, the patio and the path. So my hands are literally covered in mud because I really need to get new gloves. They've all got holes in. So I think I'm gonna be ordering some new gloves this week, but everywhere is looking amazing. And it's actually so hot today. I feel like I should take off this jumper, um, but let me show you what I've been doing. So around the edges here, we cut in this little border which when we moved in this was all super overgrown the grass was right up to the stones and um yeah it was very very overgrown so we cut in a little border it's not super neat but um it's good it looks it looks better and this just gets really filled up with weeds so i just come along and just dig out the weeds and just give it a bit of a zhuzh up so it looks nice and neat all the way around which i really like and actually i did have a plan to plant some box hedging around here just to kind of make a bit of a border and i was intending on stopping it kind of like where the door is so it's very symmetrical on the seating area you can see it's it's super symmetrical we've got the um plinths either side and yeah chairs either side pots either side i like the symmetry um so yeah i was thinking of doing a box hedge around but we just haven't got around to it and it's quite expensive because we're gonna need a lot so we are kind of like holding off on that at the moment but i have also just done the pathway as well because again same thing with the other one it just gets quite overgrown jack has strimmed all the edges so i just came along and zhuzhed up all the soil around the edges and just got rid of all of the weeds and everything like that and I've just been having a bit of a tidy up um, on this patio as well and also around these beds just getting some like miscellaneous weeds out and things like that actually I have a question to ask you sorry about the noise of the lawnmower Jack is cutting the grass if you can't tell question for all my gardening ladies what do I do with the old spring bulbs so these are obviously the tulips from spring and i've also got some mascari left from spring which i actually think look really beautiful like this um but i'm not sure what to do with them i don't know i've, I've read online i've researched it myself but there's so many different things people say people say leave them people say cut them i don't know what to do so if you can give me any advice that would be amazing in the comments i don't know whether to yeah just literally cut them all off or not i mean obviously they're not going to come back now so i'm not sure oh my gosh he absolutely loves it in there is that your favorite spot mr man oh he's amazing but anyway flowers are doing incredible look at these alliums they are so beautiful how incredible are they they're like stars i just think they're beautiful um and we've also got some of this lavender we've got two types of lavender this lavender is coming out now and this is looking so much bigger and fuller compared to last year um this is the type of lavender that can spread really quickly um jack's grandma <laughs> she, this is actually quite funny jack's grandma got um jack's grandpa to go to the garden center and pick up 
some lavender for her for her raised beds she's got these beautiful raised beds in her garden maybe one day I will go into her garden and show you it because it is absolutely beautiful I would love to show you um, but yeah, so she wanted this lavender, which is obviously a lot more uh, controlled. It doesn't spread as quickly and it kind of doesn't have a, a mind of its own as much. I love this lavender. I think it's beautiful. It's what we've got around the barn. Um, but Jack's grandpa came home with this lavender and she wasn't best pleased. And honestly, after a year, it was absolutely huge. So she had to cut it back. And then she decided she was just going to get rid of it. And I think she gave it to some of her friends. But yeah I love this lavender I think it's beautiful it really reminds me of Provence and just kind of like that beautiful pale sage green color is stunning but yeah everything's looking lovely Basil is sat in his little seat over here if you can see just behind the dogwood oh he's got his head resting on the patio he loves that spot there he keeps digging in it <laughs> oh lovely Everything is just looking so, so beautiful and I'm just loving a Sunday in the garden today. It is really, really nice. Oh, another thing that we did actually yesterday, oh, these sticky things get on my nerves. Yesterday we, um, oh, the salvia is coming out. Look at that, beautiful. Um, yesterday we did a little bit of TLC on the hedge. So we gave it a good haircut. Um, I mean, I say a good haircut, it was just a bit straggly. It just needed pruning a little bit. Um, so look how neat it looks. I am so obsessed with how neat this is. Jack and I are real sticklers for making our gardens look as neat as possible. Um, so I went along the bottom and ripped out all of the, I don't know what that stuff's called. If you're a gardener, I feel like you'll be familiar with this, this sticky stuff that sticks to everything um, and it grows relentlessly. No idea what this is called, but anyway, I call it the sticky stuff. And it was all in the hedge and it, Jack was saying it was making it so hard to trim the hedges. So we, I went along the bottom and just ripped it all out and then we strimmed all the grass at the bottom and Jack also went along the fence line and strimmed all the grass in here because Basil kept going in this grass um, and playing in it and he was loving it but it was making me really scared because the rabbits come down here a lot and they dig holes as you can see here around these stumps um, and I was getting so worried that he was going to slip underneath the fence because he'd honestly engulf himself in the grass and you couldn't see him at all so we decided to strip it back just to um, avoid any runaway doggies but yeah the garden is looking absolutely beautiful jack is still cutting the grass he's been going for about two hours now um but yeah everything is just stunning i love days in the garden it makes me so happy this lavender is loving absolutely loving life jack's grandma couldn't believe this lavender she said she was very impressed she said it looked incredible so that was good oh see what i mean about the digging in the holes around the fence <laughs> he can obviously just smell the rabbits but the field is looking very beautiful with all the long grass. The buttercups, the long grass, oh, it's so gorgeous. There's some wildflower in there. It is looking really beautiful. And this just reminds me so much of when we first moved in because the grass was about this high now. And yeah, just perfect. Very pleased that I'm getting my nails done tomorrow. <laughs> they look awful. Good morning. Well, it's actually five minutes past 12, so it's actually the afternoon. It is Wednesday today and I have had the best morning. I feel like I am getting my mojo back with work and balancing everything with Basil. And I had a meeting with my management yesterday and I was just saying how I have felt quite overwhelmed the last week and I've just been almost not struggling, but I've just been finding that juggle quite difficult and just kind of like i think just getting myself into a good routine alongside basil's routine is difficult and it takes a while to adjust but i had that call yesterday and my mum came around we had a good chat about it and i woke up this morning and i just felt like right today is the day we're fixing it we're changing it if you read my newsletter or you've watched my videos for a while you probably know that i'm quite a 
what's the word? I like to, if I'm struggling with like a low mood, I mean, I struggle with PMS quite a lot and things that happen in life, you know, your moods are up and down constantly. Um, I lean into the mood for a while and then I get to a point where I almost wake up and it just switches. And I'm like, right, today's the day, it's changing. Today is that day. So I got up this morning and I did a reformer. I also got myself all ready. I put some nice makeup on and I actually watched a YouTube video while I got ready, which I used to do every single day and I haven't done that for, well, literally three weeks since we got Basil. And it's just like my little time. I don't know if anyone else does this, but when I get ready, I like to have just a little bit of time. I just watch a video. It's like a nice, calming, nice moment. I've also filmed eight outfits for Instagram today and I just feel like I'm completely back to my normal self. Just pulling out loads of things from my wardrobe, almost shopping my own wardrobe, putting them all on the rail, bringing them downstairs. I actually shot the content downstairs, which I haven't actually done for ages. I used to shoot in my dressing room, which is probably my preferred area of shooting because it's just a lot easier. It's more practical, everything's in there, the lighting's amazing. But um, just with Basil, I knew he would be crying if I left him downstairs for too long. So I moved it all downstairs and it was amazing. And he was so good. He's just been wandering about, sleeping a bit, playing in the garden. He did, although, find a dead baby crow, which was, <laughs> yeah, a typical dog and especially a typical Labrador. Um, he started eating it. And I think what had happened was maybe the baby bird had died in the nest and it's been like chucked out and it was on the floor and it was kind of like feathers everywhere. And yeah, anyway, I'll spare you the details, but I had to like prize it out of his mouth and get it out of his mouth and then put him inside and get rid of it um, and like clean up the area. Then he didn't go back there because it wasn't there anymore. But he is currently sleeping in his crate and um, I'm just getting on with some work now, just gonna do some editing and make some lunch because I'm absolutely starving and I really fancy spending a little bit of time making a nice lunch today. I've got some sweet potato that I'm going to roast. I think I'm gonna do feta, potentially some tuna, mm, not sure yet, maybe chicken, I don't know. Um, but we'll see what we've got. Just done a massive food shop as well. Um, just all the things that we've been running low on, like pantry things, dry food, cupboard, um, like sauces, you know, just when everything runs out at once. So I've done a big food shop for loads of bits for the weekend so we can have a nice barbecue. Yeah, life is great. Life is great today. The sun is shining. I'm hoping later this afternoon, once I'm all done with work, I can get out in the garden. Hopefully it's not gonna be cloudy and I can maybe do a bit of sunbathing and read my book, but we shall see. But I've just grabbed my camera because I have just had a beautiful delivery from Naturium. I really hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. It is the most beautiful skincare brand and they have also launched some new lip balms, which I'm very excited about because I absolutely love a lip balm. Um, and actually all my favorite ones are running out so this couldn't have come at a better time. I have got the Cafe Collection Phyto Glow Lip Balms. Four colours, Mocha, Chai, Spice and Latte. They are absolutely beautiful. And it also says now available at Space NK, which is amazing. How stunning are these colours? I absolutely love this kind of like colour palette. I think if I had a brand, I would like the colours to be based around this colour palette because I just think it's so stunning. So I am going to try a lip balm and I don't know what colour to go for. Spice is like this gorgeous brownie pink, which I think might be one that I am going to like. Oh, adorable. How sweet is that? perfect to pop in your bag i actually have a drawer in the kitchen where i keep like a hairbrush lip balms just like little bits and bobs that i might want um when i'm downstairs i actually got that trick from jack's mum because she has the exact same i'm just gonna pop my phone up so i can use it as a little mirror <gasps> oh it's got a slight color to it which i really really like because often 
especially at the moment i've been just doing very minimal makeup and using some sort of tinted lip balm okay this one oh my god that is so lovely that has the nicest taste to it not that i'm eating it but you know when you can like taste it it's got i have got lipstick on which is probably not the best to show you but it has got a really subtle color to it if i can show you on the screen i'll squeeze some out so it comes out quite browny but when it goes on the lip it's kind of a bit more of a darker let me move you a little bit wow i absolutely love that super super glossy and hydrating but it's not sticky oh it says also great as an overnight lip mask that's amazing i'm really intrigued about this color this is latte and it looks a little bit lighter oh i think this is the one that i'm gonna like yeah this one is a little bit lighter so this might be really nice for when i do like no makeup days and then i feel like this brownier one will be really nice with a lip liner oh my gosh absolutely love thank you so so much naturium that is wonderful and i will link these below if you want to check them out for yourself but how wonderful i just thought i would share that with you so i'm gonna get on with some work now because i'm still waiting for the oven to heat up and then i will make some lunch oh also i used um the licky mats that i bought for basil let me go get it i bought these on amazon because i saw a lot of people raving about licky mats for pets or puppies and um it's really good to like occupy them so i thought while i was filming i would put the licky mat out and see how long it took him just so i could gauge you know if i go out the house how long is he gonna you know be licking it for and if he likes it so i put some greek yogurt i only used a tiny bit but i spread it really thin over the whole thing and um it's got suction pads on the bottom so it sticks to the floor so it's not gonna move around and he absolutely loved it he has literally licked it clean but it came in a pack of two and the reason i got this one is because the other one looks like this and i just thought the color was beautiful so the pack of two you've got the beige and the grey and loads of them are like bright green bright pink and i mean dogs can't see colors so i'd like it to look nice <laughs> but yeah i'm really happy about that so i think we're gonna make that a common thing i have actually still got his puppy kong that i bought so i think over the weekend i might use that um and maybe put some frozen bits in it and put some water in so it freezes it maybe some peanut butter but i'm just i'm introducing these things slowly because i don't want it to upset his tummy um because you know all he's had is the same puppy food since he was born so you know little bits here and there i just used really natural um it was full fat so it wasn't like sweetened or it didn't have any other bits and bobs in greek yogurt it's time for lunch usually for lunch i am quite lazy to be honest and i like things that are quick um it's only really when i'm thinking about prepping meals that i actually make an effort so today i knew that i wanted to have this so i'm kind of making a bit more effort <laughs> usually i will literally just chuck stuff in a bowl and go from there or i'll just have a wrap and just chuck loads of stuff in don't know about anyone else but i find lunch quite boring i much prefer dinner what is your favorite meal because i know some people love breakfast i would say i don't love breakfast i get quite bored of like breakfasty type things um dinner is definitely my favorite all my favorite foods are things that i have for dinner so i'm going to show you a really easy lunch that's just a bit different from your basic sandwich and avocado on toast because that is usually my go-to okay first up i have just peeled my sweet potato and i'm going to cut this up into little cubes i absolutely love sweet potato and actually jack didn't used to like it 
and I made a sweet potato mash, which is the simplest thing ever. All I did was put a full potato with holes in, in the microwave for, I mean, it depends on the size of it. I think I did it for about six minutes. Cut it open and then put it in for a couple of minutes more. Mashed it all, added some salt and that was it. Nothing else and it is so delicious. Um, and he absolutely loved it. So I'm really pleased about that because it means we can have sweet potato for dinner way more. Sweet potato done and I'm gonna put that. Oh dear, I've just realized we've got a sock here. This is Jack's sock that um, I was gonna put in the wash and Basil stole it. <laughs> sweet potato in the roasting tin. I'm also just gonna cut up some bits that I've got left in the fridge. Um, this pepper has probably seen better days. So I'm just gonna use that up and roast that. I thought we'd change angles so you can hopefully see what I'm doing. Um, but I'm just cutting this again into like bite-sized um, cubes, kind of the same as the sweet potato. Can you even see what I'm doing? There we go, that's better, you can see. And then that goes in. And lastly, I've just got a tomato left, so I'm gonna roast this as well. And I'm just gonna roast this in little slices. Like so. I'm just gonna top that with some olive oil, some pepper. And some salt as well. And then I'm gonna put that in the oven. It's 180 degrees and I'll probably put that in for about 20 minutes, 15. I like to just guess and see how it goes. <laughs> I've got my big salad bowl and I actually got this from Burford Garden Company ages ago years ago and i love this it's just the perfect size for like a big salad you know when you go to a restaurant and you get a big salad and it just feels like so nice sometimes i don't eat it all and i will just leave it and then add that to another salad tomorrow but yeah i love a big bowl of salad so i'm gonna get some bits i have some pea shoots that need to be eaten so they can go in i'm also going to cut up cucumber and then I'm also going to do a little bit of spring onion because I have loads of spring onion and I feel like it just adds quite a nice flavour I don't love too much but a little bit is quite nice I'm also going to take some basil because I have like an absolute addiction to basil. It's quite ridiculous. And I have it in absolutely everything that I eat, which is partly the reason why we called basil, basil. Because <laughs> Jack and I are both obsessed with basil and we eat it with every meal we possibly can. Okay, so there's my non-roasted, more like cold bits that I'm gonna add in. I do not do this every day for lunch, by the way. I'm just trying to show you a meal that I love and I actually often have this for dinner as well and I'll have it alongside salmon or something like that. I then have some chicken. I buy ready to eat chicken for lunch just cause it's so much quicker and easier. And I am, yeah. I'm just quite lazy when it comes to lunch and I would rather buy it when it's ready cooked than roast chicken. I just know I wouldn't do it um, and I'll just end up eating a bag of crisps. So <laughs> that is why I buy the ready cooked chicken. Right, so that is pretty much the base of my salad and then I'm gonna add in all the sweet potatoes, the tomatoes and the pepper. So it currently looks like this, pretty boring. Um, I'm also deciding what dressing I want. I kind of want spicy today. I think I'm gonna go for some sriracha mayo, which is absolutely delicious. And one of my favorite dinners ever, ever, ever that I actually haven't had for so long 
is broccoli, tender stem broccoli, a salmon fillet, sticky rice, and this. So simple, so basic. Um, it's actually now one of Nadia's favorite dinners and I went to her house in London ages ago and I cooked it for us and we were just sat there with our like plain basic dinner. But when I tell you it's so delicious and it really doesn't take long, it's so quick. Healthy, nutritious, easy. You can mix up the veggies, mix up the rice. I sometimes do it with sweet potato, so delicious. Um, so yeah, I will get back to you when my sweet potato is done and we can continue building the bowl. Lunch is served. I just added um, the sweet potato and the peppers into here and the tomato. I've popped a couple of parsley leaves on top, drizzled the sriracha and this literally smells incredible. Look at all the colour. I mean, just absolutely delicious. So I am going to delve into this now and catch up on some YouTube videos while I eat lunch. And then I think we'll take Basil out for a good play in the garden because he's been sleeping and he's been such a good boy. His favourite spot in the garden, well this bit of the garden, is either under here or up here. He loves. Don't you? You love hiding under there, little monkey. Shall we play with your ducky? Shall we play with your ducky? Huh? Or are you sleepy? I think it's playtime. Look at your lips. Oh, he is just too adorable. Ha ha. Ready? Ah uh ah. -uh. Basil, sit. Good boy. Ready? Go. <laughs> Come on then. Good boy. Straight back under. Oh, he's gone on top today. <laughs> he is so funny. Good boy. <laughs> 